Today we have so many things to talk about guys. Fortnite Times Avengers is confirmed. That is right guys, we got an official teaser of Avengers coming back to Fortnite and it is crazy. So we're going to be talking a ton about that. All of the info we know so far, dissecting the teaser image that we got, we're going to go into that. Also the release date of it, as well as discussing what it could be and like what characters could be in it from Avengers. I even found a new thing on the map recently that could have to do with this. And then after that guys, we're going to go over some other update stuff because the new update is just around the corner and it should be a big update looking at some stuff so we are going to be covering all of that info but yeah guys if you enjoyed today's video be sure to use my supporter creator code the llama sir i seriously appreciate it so much it encourages me to continue keeping you guys up to date on news and the challenges and stuff like that i seriously love helping you guys out on top of that be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on notifications for more update news like this i try to get it out to you guys as soon as i can and let's go ahead and jump into it with the avengers info right here so we do have um a bunch of different things we're gonna mix them in with like some things that we need to uh, go over again as well as like the brand new stuff because again we got a brand new teaser and I'm just so excited for this if you guys are excited for Avengers times Fortnite coming back officially confirmed hit that like button down below leave a comment of how excited you are because guys this is crazy let's see if we can get 10,000 likes for Avengers in Fortnite I think we can but you know what let's just jump on into it with the official announcement we got and you know what let's talk about the um, release date of it so basically this info comes comes from Fortnite's Twitter account. It might have been on their Instagram as well, but Twitter is where I saw it, so let's just cover that. I'm sure it's probably the same. But yeah, if you take a look at Fortnite Games' Twitter account, they put up a tweet that says whatever it takes, and then the release date, and then hashtag Fortnite X Avengers. And then with an image, which we'll go over in just a sec, but first of all, I want to talk about that release date. So um, yes, with that being said, again, it's confirmed, I mean, obviously, but the release date is April 25th, 2019 which is a few days from when I'm uploading this video. Specifically, that is a Thursday and it is in a few days. So yeah, like this is right around the corner happening super soon. I believe Endgame releases the 26th, I want to say. Uh, let me double check again. Yeah, around the 26th, I think. So yeah, this is happening like really, really soon. It's literally like just around the corner in a few days. And with that being said, it looks like we might be getting more teasers each day leading up to it. It reminds me a lot of like the teasers they put up before um, the new seasons come out. They usually do like three to four days of teaser images, one each day. So with that being said, we got the teaser image today, which again, we'll cover in just a sec here. It's coming up. But if we got a teaser today, it's possible we could get another one tomorrow and then the day after. And then I think after that, it would probably be the 25th and we'd get the official, you know, whatever's coming out, which we will talk about like ideas of what's going to be happening. But yeah, I hope we get more. Now with that being said, guys, let's just go ahead and jump into it with the official teaser for this event and that is this image right here i mean come on guys that is crazy captain america is confirmed for this or at least captain america's shield i mean i don't want to jump to conclusions about that again we'll dissect this with like ideas of what it could be but um i mean it's official guys <laughs> doesn't get more official than that avengers times fortnite is happening again i'm so excited but yes we've got bright bomber i believe looks to be bright bomber and you also have have clearly very clearly Captain America's shield right there which is you know pretty dang exciting on top of that you do also have the Avengers logo in the background and then the Fortnite times Avengers thing very similar to how they did it in the uh, previous year down in the corner so yeah I think it's officially confirmed <laughs> but with that being said let's dissect this a little bit and talk about what could be in it as I said earlier I don't know if this confirms that like Captain America could be in this event or it's simply you know you'll be able to use Captain America's shield now personally I think I'd maybe lean towards just being able to use the shield since for example we have bright bomber I think holding on to the shield and that maybe represents like you know characters in the game being able to pick up Captain America's shield and use it similar to like how we were able to use the Thanos gauntlet back in the infinity war stuff last year but then again last year when you picked up the infinity gauntlet you actually turned into Thanos so maybe you will turn into Captain America it's hard to say but it might make more sense is like an item you can pick up and then maybe you can like throw it maybe you can use it as a shield to block other players you know attacks maybe you can jump like super high with it or maybe you do in fact you know turn into Captain America and you can just go to town honestly I think Captain America might be my favorite character from the Avengers comment down below who is your favorite Avengers character because we might be seeing more Avengers characters coming into this event like that leads me into my next thing I want to talk about right here that could 
interact with this first part, but that is that I think it's very likely that we could be seeing Iron Man as well. As you guys may remember, we talked about this before in a previous video, but there was a picture put up by Donald Mustard, who is the creative director at Epic Games. I think he's actually the worldwide creative director, and he always puts up like really fun teasers and stuff like that. Really cool stuff, but basically he had put up a picture of Robert Downey Jr. wearing a Fortnite t-shirt and also saying, uh, see you soon, which was like our biggest hint that this was coming into the game. I mean, we called it, we knew it was happening. But with that being said, since it's Robert Downey Jr. wearing a Fortnite shirt, I think it's likely that we could be seeing Iron Man as well. I mean, I would think that, you know, Captain America and Iron Man are probably the two biggest, you know, most popular characters in the series. I don't know if any other character would really come close. I'm trying to think, but um, yeah, I don't know, maybe Ant-Man. But since Captain America and Iron Man are more main characters, I think they could be, you know, pretty likely to be in this event. Now, with that being said, we probably could see Ant-Man as well. I mean, imagine how crazy that would be to see Ant-Man or some like Ant-Man type item. Like you get to put on this suit and then you can turn your character like huge and run around the map like that. That would honestly be pretty crazy. I wouldn't mind seeing that Fortnite. Please include that in the game. But then on top of that, you have to keep in mind what happened in Infinity War. You know, if you still haven't seen Infinity War, I mean, come on, but you know what happened in there. So that might affect like, you know, what happens in this event. But yeah, I think we could see a bunch of characters this time instead of it just being like Thanos. And with that being said, could Thanos return? I think it's likely, again, in the past, we talked about how the Infinity Gauntlet is in the creator asset pack for, like, you know, content creators and stuff like that, which we found pretty interesting. But since that is still in it, I think Thanos could be in this event as well. I mean, you do sort of need somebody to fight, right? So having Thanos come back could make sense as well. But again, we're not 100% sure about that or what other characters besides Captain America are in it. Right now, Captain America, or at least his shield, is the only confirmed one. Um, On top of that, what could the whole event be? Well, I'm hoping that we get something special like challenges and that it is bigger than just an LTM like we got last time. The LTM from last year was very cool, but I'm hoping they do something, you know, bigger and better, especially since Endgame is a lot more important than Infinity War. They sort of have to. So again, I'm hoping they make it a whole event with like challenges and items and stuff like that. We don't know for sure, but on the other hand, I do think it's really likely that we could be seeing a game mode. Since again, we see Bright Bomber carrying the shield, it would make sense that we see some sort of game mode similar to last year. And then for the final Avengers thing I want to talk about, and then we'll go over a little bit more update news because I believe we have an update coming out really soon. And I think, you know, we'd kind of have to have an update coming out soon, especially with like a big announcement like this. It would make sense that we get an update, to, you know, actually include this stuff in the game. But we'll talk about that in just a sec. The other thing I want to bring up real quick right here is that maybe possibly the thing in the middle of Loot Lake has to do with this. I mean, it's hard to say. I haven't seen Avengers Endgame. It's not even out yet. But could this be something that is from the movie maybe? And maybe this entire thing is leading up to, you know, this event, this crazy Avengers, you know, crossover happening. And we did talk about like another theory for this thing in my previous video. And if you want to check that out, that'll be linked down below in the description and the pinned comment, as well as a card at the end of this video. So if you just want to watch through the video, click the card at the end to go to that one. But we talked about how this could lead to season nine as well. And like the theme of it, but on top of that, maybe it has to do with this event with the Avengers. It kind of looks like Captain America's shield with the five points in the center, but you know, that's sort of hard to say. On top of that though, I just recently found another thing with this that is pretty weird. You guys have probably known about runes floating around the map, but I recently found this thing over near Pleasant Park, which is like firing a laser off into the distance, and it has the same symbol as the rune that is like right now above the main area and is the second rune. So I'm not exactly sure what this is for, but I still wanted to bring it up because it's pretty crazy that it's, you know, has a laser. And in case you guys didn't know about it, there you go. So either way, guys, I'm super excited for this event. But after that, we have a few um, update things to talk about, like the first of which, the next update, which is likely 8.50. And as we've talked about a lot before, when they go from, you know, 8.3 to 8.4 to 8.5, for example, instead of like 8.4 to 8.41, that usually means a bigger update with a lot of stuff in it, which is why they use the bigger number to represent that. That's how it's worked for like pretty much every update so far leading up to this. But yeah, 8.50 is around the corner, according to a couple of things. The first of which is that Mr. Popo TFS, who is one of the employees at Epic Games, has been responding to some, you know, stuff about bugs over on Reddit that people have posted. And in a couple of the replies, he has mentioned that certain things will be fixed in 8.50. And usually when they say that, they're talking about the next update. He could have said like, that'll be fixed in uh, 8.41, but he didn't, he said 8.50. So with that being said, that leads me to think that 8.50 will be next week's update. On top of that, 
that though, that's not the only thing confirming it. If you take a look at the Save the World roadmap that was posted, they have um, 8.50 as the week of April 23rd, which is coming up very, very soon. And uh, that has been pretty consistent with when the actual updates have come out for Battle Royale as well. So having 8.50 on that roadmap again for, you know, April 23rd is very likely, again, confirming that it is coming out this week. Now, as for the exact date, um, I would say probably Wednesday. That's when they've been putting out these updates generally. And also we don't have anything in game as of right now pointing towards when the update is going to come out. So it's likely not going to come out tomorrow. Usually they put up that little warning thing, you know, the day before. So I'm expecting Wednesday, you know, 5 a.m. Eastern time, pretty standard stuff for when the next update is coming out. So yeah, but then after that real quick, let's cover some bug fixes that are apparently uh, planned for this next update. And the first of which is one that I'm pretty excited about. And hopefully this means that they're actually fixing a couple of things, but it has to do with random ghost sounds. Like sometimes you'll randomly hear hear stuff and it's, you know, not actually there. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I've heard, like, people building or, like, you know, somebody's glider and then I turn around, like, look everywhere and there's nobody even there. So apparently that looks like stuff like that will be fixed soon because Mr. Popo TFS had responded to a uh, comment about this and basically said that we are aware of this issue and have a fix coming in the V8.50 update to resolve these ghost sounds. So yeah, guys, it looks like that is hopefully being fixed soon. Definitely good to hear. Hopefully that also means that they're working on, you know, sometimes not being able to hear people sneaking up on you. It especially happens in, like, end games. Like, I had it happen to me in Arena. Somebody glided towards me and I had no idea they were even there. So hopefully they fix that as well. On top of that, they're also fixing a bug that has to do with, you know, hold to swap, which is basically when, you know, you go to pick up a weapon and a lot of the times you just want to, you know, add it to your inventory. But if you hold the pickup button, it's supposed to, you know, switch it with the weapon that you have selected in your inventory. But sometimes it's been pretty buggy and doesn't work you know, you want to pick it up and sometimes it swaps. It's been a bit of a pain, but um, Mr. Popo TFS had responded to something about this as well and said, starting in V8.50, weapon pickup is now on the release of the use button rather than on the initial press. So hopefully that basically means that it'll fix this issue of picking stuff up. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more update news videos coming out in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as on like the top left, Left, going over season 9 theories and stuff like that then on the right and then on the right my week 8 challenges guide but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one